So here we are, folks, with the brand new iOS 11.3 that just came out. One of the great things that's happened with the iPhones recently is the screen recording, except, of course, for the sound. And that's never more apparent than with Instagram videos. So let's hop on over to Instagram and try to get a live video. And here we go. I don't hear him. Chris. Chris Jericho. I know what you're saying. Greg, he is walking. He's not making any noise. He's in a park, and there is sound all around him. If you look, you see me turning the volume up there, and then I turned it back up and turned it back down. At this point, he's now talking, I believe. This is an official Instagram video I took this morning. I actually posted this one because it had sound, but then when I posted it, the sound went away, which for me is way more frustrating, and this happens often. All right, let's see if we can get some sound out of the one and only Boot Gang. You know he's got something to say. Let's listen in. Yeah? Hmm. Okay. No. No. Hmm. And here we go again. I'm sure. Well, hello, Lana. You going to speak? This amazing Q&A on Twitter, so that was great. So go and follow me on Twitter, Lana, WWE. You can continue to do things, which is really exciting, see? So I know what you're saying, or at least I think I know what you're saying. How come we can hear Lana, but we couldn't hear anyone else? Well, I may not be able to tell you why, but I can tell you how. The sound switch on the side of your iPhone, switch it to off, put in your headphones, and then record the video. You can test it any way you want. In fact, I encourage you to. But the sound off with the headphones on is the only way to keep the sound in the recording with an iOS 11. I'm gonna put a link to this actual Lana video on YouTube for you to try yourself. Try recording with and without the headphone jack and with and without the sound turned off and on. I had so much fun engaging with the Lana squad. Okay, Lana, that's about enough. I'm gonna take it from here. If you have any questions about how I did this, if the video wasn't clear, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. I think it was pretty self-explanatory, especially with the handy dandy diagrams I gave you guys. Next on my list of things to figure out, why do Facebook pictures that you screenshot disappear after a week or two? Don't believe me? Screenshot a picture that is not on your page, put it somewhere and keep it for a couple weeks. But before you do that screenshot, ask someone's permission. Don't be creepy. And then wait a couple weeks and wait and see. The picture is gone. That's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for the help today, Lana. I'm sure some people stuck around just to watch you instead of listen to me.